Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be installing RasBMC, better known as the XBMC, onto my Raspberry Pi Linux computer here. And so this is a specially formulated uh, XBMC install specifically made for this. And so there's a little bit of configuring of your computer that's required as well as installing the software onto your, um, onto your flash drive here. And it's it's a bit confusing a little bit because um, it's not your standard usual install uh, like installing the uh, Debian um, uh, Raspberry Pi software, RazWeezy, whatever it is it's called. Um, it's a little bit different than that. And so I'm going to go through the whole process here. But uh, essentially, XBMC is just a um, media center software. It's It originally came from the Xbox Media Center uh, type software. And so it's basically just a software that you run on the memory card here but the content is actually somewhere else the content is um, gonna be my actually my main computer the desktop that you see here all of my videos is gonna be on here and my music and so essentially what you do is that you have the XBMC software it's the interface uh, that you have on your um, SD card running on here connected to your TV and it finds the data that's on, that's being shared over the network streams it to this just gives you a nice interface uh, for you to um, navigate and watch uh, your videos uh, on your TV coming from your um, computer right so that's just a brief explanation there's a lot more information out there as to what XBMC is but essentially we're gonna get right into uh, what we need to do all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download the necessary software. And so we're gonna go ahead and click on download. Of course, the links to all this will be in the description, right? And so it's a little confusing at this point where it seems like you would download from these mirrors here, but that's not what you do. Uh, you actually just click on installing on Windows and then you're gonna want to um, fetch or get the installer, Windows installer from this link here. So when you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and download this software I don't know why it comes up as a as a warning but uh, once you open it and I'm using uh, my favorite unzipping app which is 7-zip um, you can either create a new folder or just unzip it straight on you need all these files if you want if you're you know really paranoid about keeping things organized right we'll uh, just put them in a nice folder here All right so we're gonna run this installer but first we're actually gonna plug in our SD memory card here into our memory card reader on the computer and I'll just close this for now so we'll double click the installer and it's gonna erase all of the information that's on your SD card here so just make sure that you don't have any important data All right so it recognizes the card here and so we'll go ahead and check that and we'll click on install. So what is essentially doing, and this is why it's different from other places, is that it's downloading um, the necessary files for an install. Install uh, when you have everything plugged in, it's a little weird. It's like you're downloading a small little bit file. It's I think it's like 50 megabytes, probably, probably even less. But essentially, what's installing on here is not the XBMC software not the RasBMC it's actually just the installer files right and I'll explain as I go along uh, because once we boot this up it's going to install itself uh, download the rest of XBMC onto the memory card and install itself fully and then um, you'll be able to run from there so right now all we did was just set up an installation disk so to speak right and uh, so that was quick and easy as you can see there so I'll go ahead and uh, close that now we're gonna do a little bit of configuring our computer here just doing it now um, so that later on when we get to uh, the booting up the software we'll, it'll make it easier alright so I'll close this and so what we have to actually do and this makes it easiest is to uh, create a new user account right so if I go to the control panel here and I have the control panel and I want to add or remove a user account so this is my main account that I have on here I'm going to create a new account and I'll call it XBMC 
right? And you can leave it as a standard user, that's fine. And then this user here needs to have a password. It has to have this account, user account has to have a password. X B, oops, X B M C and X B M C again, right? All right, so we have a user account and a password uh, set up here. Every time you restart your computer, you're gonna have your main account and then this XBMC account. So right now, if you're the kind of person that's used to having your system boot up automatically into one main account, I'm gonna show you how now how to do that, um, even though you have two accounts here. And so what you do is you actually go to start here and you type in net PL whiz, right? And we start this up and then uh, user must enter a name and password to enter this computer. This is the way it's set now. So we're gonna uncheck that. And we actually want the geek here to be the person that starts up automatically. I don't have a password on this, so I just press on okay. Now, every time when I restart my computer, it automatically goes into my main account. So this XBMC here, it is a user that exists on the computer but we don't really do anything on it, right? So I press OK, all right, and so now I'm going to uh, need to share the files um, that I want my XBMC Media Center to be able to pick up. So I have this folder here, and you can call it whatever you want. I just happen to be calling it Plex. In that folder, I have two separate, my movies and my TV shows, right? It's called Plex because I use this other software called Plex for my PS3 and yada yada, all that. Anyways, um, you can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to go to properties. And then I'll click the sharing tab here. I'll go to advanced sharing. Click on share this folder. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to just leave it at uh, Plex. And then permissions, I like to just do full control, right? And you can experiment, maybe full control doesn't work, but I'm just gonna leave it at full control. And then uh, we press okay, and we close. And now we're sharing our folder, and that's good to go, All right? So we'll close that. And uh, that's pretty much it on the setting up things on the desktop. Now I'm going to go over to my TV and have everything all set up, plugged in, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm now ready to plug in everything and start things up here. But before I do, let me just talk about what it is I have here. I've got the Raspberry Pi with the HDMI cable plugged into my TV, my USB uh, dongle here for my keyboard and mouse, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's very important that you have an Ethernet plugged in. You're not going to be able to finish the installation process without the ethernet. You have to have ethernet and the internet obviously working uh, on here. And of course we've got the specially formulated SD card here ready to go, ready to be turned on. Now I'm using my special little battery here uh, but obviously you want to use uh, the wall charger of your phone or whatever um, whatever is uh, acceptable for here. And then we're going to plug this in. I'm going to switch over to the TV real quick. All right, and as you can see there, we've got uh, some code running here. Let me fix this. And uh, this is going to take uh, a few minutes to start up. And for the most part, you shouldn't have to be doing anything. It says connection to RasBMC successful. Now it's uh, it's gonna install RasBMC. So it's downloading right now uh, from the servers. Typically it takes 15 to 25 minutes. Depending on where you're at, it could take longer because the servers could be you know, going crazy. A lot of people downloading. And so uh, you just have to be patient on this. I usually will wait about 20 minutes. Well, you'll know when it's done because it'll actually automatically boot into Raz, uh, XBMC. And so just let this run and uh, we'll come back when it's finished loading. 
All right, so after about 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes, it installed and uh, it just booted up. I didn't do anything since uh, you last saw me leave it. Um, it. It would look like it froze, but trust me, it, it's okay. It, it didn't freeze or anything like that. It just finished all the way through. And so what we're going to do now is that we're already on the um, menu system here and we're gonna go to files and then we're going to select files and we're going to add videos we're gonna add stuff to our library then we're gonna click on browse and then we're gonna select go all the way down to the bottom and select Windows Network alright so it, it looked on our network and uh, it picked up the uh, work group that's the name of my network uh, it's kind of the stock Windows network naming scheme here I didn't choose that name so we'll go ahead and prick, uh, plick, pick that and then we'll go to the geek desktop that's my, the name of my my desktop there All right so the username remember this this is uh, what we created we created a user called uh, XBMC right and we'll press enter then we'll go to the password here and we'll uh, type in our password which is also XBMC right and then we'll go down and we'll just select remember this path so that we don't have to keep doing this right and then uh, it lets us into our folder there so there's our Plex folder and then or my my video folder and then uh here's the movies folder but uh, I'm actually gonna go back and then I'm gonna choose I'll tab here or actually I'll choose OK with my mouse because I can't so if you look up here up at the top right SBMC S M B colon forward slash forward slash the geek that's the name of my computer and then plex the folder that's the folder I'm gonna share the entire folder everything so that includes the movies and the show TV shows folder so click on OK the name for this plex I'll just leave it at that then I'll click on OK and then um, the scraper essentially this is Oh, this mouse is terrible. Come on, you. Right, so this is basically what it um, scours the internet for, for your movies, so that it can add the proper metadata about your movie on there. So I'll just pick this. And then, uh, do you want to refresh info for all items within this path? Sure, why not? All right, so now that we've added our video files here, I've gone ahead and connected my Windows Media Center remote. I picked this up um, from Newegg like a few years ago, probably uh, about a, two years ago during Black Friday. I think it was like $8 or whatever. Never found a use for it, but now, I guess I do. So um, I'll try to find a link to this exact model here, but uh, for those of you who might want to look for it, it's the RRC 127 TSGPIR01. Maybe that could focus, and it cannot. Anyways, it's made by Rosewill, but uh, I think uh, most generic Windows um, Media Center. Uh, remotes should work with this and uh, so the receiver is a uh, IR blaster right here and um, basically it's connected to the USB port so I have one USB port that is uh, um, being used by my keyboard and mouse and one by this uh, IR blaster receiver you can put a hub on there and add more USB devices if you want but as you can see here let me go it works as I'm pressing this. Uh, let me go back. I don't know how exactly to go back or home. 
Oops, I just turned on my Xbox. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Let me go down to my folder here. Now I'll go to my movies. And I'll play this movie here. And uh, hopefully I don't get banned on YouTube uh, for playing this video here. YouTube, this is a demo. I'm only doing a demo. I'm not actually playing the entire movie here. But as you can see, it loads up. And let me see if I can fast forward here. This is what I like about this over like Plex. Right? It's stunning 720p quality here. If I had seven, uh, if I had 1080p, it'd probably be a lot better. So I just hit the stop button there. This remote works really well, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the XBMC. Uh, hopefully, that hopefully that was useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that jazz. Uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it and. Uh, Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all you guys uh, with all your support and stuff like that watching my videos. All right. Catch you later.